murdered? But how? This doctor is obviously an idiot. He isn't, Yurani. If the doctor says Mr. Polis was murdered, he's probably right. The doctor is very rarely wrong. Well, does this man have any credentials? Who are you affiliated with, doctor? No one. He told me and Sylvia that he works for no one but himself. Then he must be the one who killed him. He must be an imposter. I knew you couldn't be the doctor. Even Polis was unsure of you. Oh, that's ridiculous! If I was the killer, why would I reveal the weapon I killed him with? Especially when everyone thought he had a heart attack. To avoid suspicion. To potentially frame someone innocent for your crime. That's the most ludicrous thing Akalaka Aka has ever heard. Yes, that is quite ridiculous, Yugani. We can see why you didn't become an officer, Yugani. Are you calling me an idiot? Everyone, please! That's enough shouting! This good friend of ours is dead, and we must find out who did it and why. Shouldn't we call the professionals, though, Doctor? I mean, I don't recall you ever having experience in solving a murder. Yes, we should call the MWPF immediately! Mr. Polis, are you almost done with your wrap-up party? Oh, no. Mr. Polis? What's happened here? I am afraid, Zanesworth, that Mr. Polis has been murdered. What? How could this happen? Why did this happen? Who is responsible for this? Calm down, my dear fellow. We're not going to find justice by rage. We're going to call the MWPF and find out who did this. I promise you. Who will call them, then? I already have. They're on their way, but it'll be half an hour before they get here. Can we have some proof of that, Mr. President? Proof? You already do. You have my word. Normally I would take your word for it, Mr. President, but I'm afraid everyone here is a suspect. Yes, it's quite possible that Quintos is behind it. He could potentially make the oxygen crisis on Mars go away by murdering Polis. How dare you, Crane? Gentlemen, gentlemen! We aren't going to get anywhere by shouting. All right. Here's what we're going to do. Perry and I will be conducting interviews with all of you in this room. Zanesworth will call the MWPF right now. Everyone will wait outside while each interview is taking place. Everyone, and I mean everyone, will be keeping an eye on each other while the interviews take place. No one is going to go off somewhere or leave Grupal Manor. Sound reasonable? I agree. Sounds like a good plan. Me and Sylvia agree as well. If it would potentially catch the maniac who did this, yes, I agree. And what about you, Yugani? Does it matter? Everyone else is for it. My vote wouldn't make a difference. Yes, but your response does tell something about your character. Charles, I will interview you first. Everyone out, please. So, Charles, how did you come to know Mr. Polis? Well, I first met Harry when I was in school. He was teaching a business class. I thought you said you were a producer. I am. You see, Harry bumped into me when I was on my way to my class. My late older brother was an admirer of his, and we eventually got to talking and became friends. Unfortunately, I did miss that class. And, uh, how did you come to meet Sylvia? I also met her at school. She is my sweetheart. And I assume Sylvia met Polis through you? Yes. And do you know what this is? The needle that killed Harry. Did you have any problems with Polis? Grudges? Disagreements? Fights? Not at all. Me and Harry were really good friends. Sure, we had a small tiff every now and then, but nothing that would make me want to kill the man. How well do you know everyone else outside this room? 
not particularly well. I have seen them every now and then, but I have hardly spoken to them. Your granny and I did attend the same school when we were boys, but we were definitely not friends. I always hated that blob. I see. That's all the questions I have for you, Mr. Crane. Please, go get Sylvia. She's next. Surely my interview should count for Sylvia. She knows as much as I do. No, Mr. Crane. Everyone will be interviewed. Very well. So, Sylvia, how did you meet Charles? I met him when we were at university. He was very persistent in trying to go out with me, but eventually I gave in. And you met Mr. Paulus through Charles? Yes. Such a wonderful man he was. It's so terrible that someone would try to murder him. How well do Charles and Yugani know each other? Very well. They were best friends when they were boys. Very interesting. Now, what will you name the baby, may I ask? Excuse me, what baby? Your baby, Sylvia. Don't forget, I am a doctor. You're about two months pregnant, I believe. A very observant doctor, it would seem. Yes, I am pregnant, but we haven't made the announcement as of yet. And Charles is the father, I assume. How dare you? Of course he is. How could you ask such a thing? I know, Sylvia. But in order to find out who murdered Mr. Paulus, I must know every detail such as that about everyone here. Now for my last question. How did Charles feel about Mr. Paulus? Did he talk about him behind his back? Well, he did always hate how smug Mr. Paulus could be. Of course, I'm sure Charles has always been resentful of him due to what happened at Solomon's Fortress. Solomon's Fortress? What connection does Charles have to Mr. Paulus through that incident? Didn't he tell you? No, he didn't. What happened, Sylvia? If he didn't tell you, then I can't. I would be betraying his trust. Oh, Sylvia, we must know what the connection is. This could be vitally important. Are you suspecting that Charles killed him? We're not. I promise you, we're not, Sylvia. We're just trying to figure things out, is all. Whatever happened, Mike, to someone else, for all we know, just please tell us for Mr. Polis. All right, I'll tell you. You see, Charles was orphaned at a young age. All he had growing up was his father, who was a soldier. His father was at Solomon's Fortress with Mr. Polis, and you see... Polis let his father die. He just abandoned him and let him die a horrible death. Charles has always hated him for that, but he learned to forgive him over time. They were friends. I... I see. This is a very big revelation. Does anyone else know about this? No, I'm the only one who knows, and now you too know. Charles never even confronted Mr. Polis about it. I assure you, Charles hasn't a bad bone in his body to do something like this. Doctor, may I have a word with you for a minute? We're in the middle of an interview, Mr. President. We'll get to you in time. This can't wait, Doctor. I think I've found something that will help you with the murder. Oh, I see. Ladies, I'll be back in a moment. What have you found, Quintos? While you were interviewing Charles and his fiancée, I went to do some investigating on my own. After I told you to stay in this room? Yes, well, I don't like staying put and having the others to do the work while I just mender in the back. Anyway, I went to St. Worth's room and found these. Oh dear. Freedom for the Titani. Down with the human tyrants. No freedom without war. It seems Zanesworth is a supporter of anti-slavery of Titani. 
But aren't Titani given just as much rights as everyone else? Five years ago, yes. But you see, as of late, Titani masters have been getting a bit greedy and not letting them retire. You see, production of Titani ceased after they ran out of materials to build them. I see. That explains it. You are telling the truth, Quintos. Why would I lie when I'm suspected for murder? Perhaps to draw attention to someone else. So you really do suspect me, then? Until I have more clues and facts, I suspect everyone, Mr. President. Now, if you excuse me, I must resume my interviews. Very well, Doctor. Good luck. Mr. Yugani, you're next. You may go now, Sylvia. I would advise you not to speak with Charles. Why ever not? I have my reasons. I see. Well, I'll be talking with Akalata then. So, legendary doctor, what questions do you have for me? How did you meet Mr. Polis? I met Polis at a charity event for children with Zelos disease. He and I have always been good friends. I see. Now how well do you know Charles Crane? Crane? I've always hated him. He stole Sylvia from me. He's a pompous idiot who claims everything for his own. Being in the same house, let alone the same room with him, makes my portions burn. Calm down, Mr. Yugani. There's really no need to make a performance. What are you talking about? I know very well that you and Charles were best friends when you were boys. Well... Yes, that's what makes me hate him even more. He was the... he was my best friend. Ah, I see. Now, did you have any problems with Mr. Polis? Any arguments or disagreements? Grudges? Are you implying what I think you're implying? I am not implying anything, Yugani. I am merely asking you a question. Remember what I said earlier? How you react tells me a lot about your character. Fine. Me and Polis had a perfectly fine friendship. Nothing that would make me kill the man. Very well. You may go, Mr. Yugani. That's it. You spend more time with Crane and Sylvia. Why spend so little on me? No reason. Just my way of doing things, and other matters I must investigate. Goodbye, Yugani. Fine. I feel as if Mr. Yugani has anger issues. Yes, very much so indeed. So, what do you think? What's the real story with Charles and Yugani? Were they ever really friends, or did they really always hate each other? I'm not sure just yet, but I do know that either Charles, Sylvia, or Yugani is lying to us. Perhaps Charles and Yugani are both lying. Charles, the only one not to mention them being friends, and Yugani seemed a bit shocked when you mentioned their friendship. Good points. But perhaps it could very well be a huge misunderstanding, and all three of them view their history with different perspectives. It could be a complete false lead for all we know, especially since Quintos handed me these. Oh boy, but aren't Tentai given... Just as many rights as humans, yes, but not as of late, Quintos told me. You don't think Zanesworth did it, do you? I mean, he seems so nice. Plus, I think it'd be a tad bit ridiculous that the butler did it. I don't know, but it's possible. I say we interview him next, but time is moving too fast. We need to get this needle analyzed. How about I interview Zanesworth and you go to the TARDIS to get this analyzed? Doctor, you do realize I'm not a scientist like you are. 
Oh, yes, I know, but luckily I have an analyzer in my lab. It's a small white box with a small blue compartment in it. Right then, I'll be right back. Zanesworth, you're up. Now, Zanesworth, may I ask you how you came under the employment of Mr. Polis? I found the job of butler for Mr. Polis in an ad like any other, Titani, sir. And, uh, how well do you know all the remaining guests here? Not all that well, to be honest. I do see lots of Mr. Crane and Miss Gomez, but especially Miss Gomez as of late. Gomez? Would that be Charles' fiancée, Sylvia? Yes. Just her alone with Mr. Polis? Yes, I'm afraid. If you just ask me, I think Miss Gomez and Mr. Polis had a relationship. Really? Yes. Although she stopped seeing him two months ago, so perhaps they broke it off, or I'm just a silly old gossip and nothing happened at all. That's very interesting. Now, can you explain why you own these, Zanesworth? How did you get those? It doesn't matter how I got them, Zanesworth. What matters is why you own them. So you suspect me, then? You think I killed Mr. Polis to retire early, did you? I'm the one asking the questions, Miss. You're the one who is supposed to answer them to prove your innocence. All right, then. Yes, I have been extremely angry with Mr. Polis over the last two years. I've worked for him for over 40 years, and wouldn't let me retire for another 30. But I would never resort to murder. If anything, I was thinking of blackmailing him about his relationship with Miss Gomez. I see. You may go now, Zanesworth. So many different motives here. It could have been Quintos. But there seems to be no evidence so far supporting it. Haven't even begun to investigate Akalata. But my prime suspects are... Hello, Doctor. How goes the investigation? Am I next to be interviewed? Oh, yes, I suppose. I wonder where Perry is. She should be back by now. I saw her return to the dining hall and then leave again. What? Why would she do that with a killer on the loose? Well, I better go see what she's up to. You wait here. Wait a minute. We're missing people. Where's Charles and Ugani? Apologies, Doctor. Me and the President were a little distracted with our conversation. Oh, blast! I told you all to keep an eye on each other. Oh, never mind. I'll go find them. They could be anywhere. Or they could be right above me. Doctor! Doctor! Help! Perry! I'm coming! Don't let go, Perry! Just hold on! Oh, like I did know that. Just have to reach the panel! Hurry up, Doctor! Oh, I'm trying, Perry! I'm trying! Ouch! That wasn't fun. No, it certainly wasn't. What happened, Perry? Well, I got done analyzing this and came back and I couldn't see Charles and Yugani, so I went back onto the staircase and I saw them come up there. It sounded like they were fighting and all of a sudden Charles opened up the door and I got stuck into the room. Well, it seems Charles and Yugani are the men we're after. Or at least now, just Charles. I assume he killed Yugani by opening the window. Did you not see him? No, I haven't. We must find him. With him probably knowing we suspect him, he's even more dangerous now. 
Let's get back to the dining hall. Charles, we can't leave until the MWPF arrive and question us. Sylvia, I'm pretty sure that doctor is a killer. He's dangerous. I just know it. Why don't you say that to his face then, Crane? No, that's not possible. Charles, what are you talking about? Is everything all right? I'm not letting you take me. Let me go! I'm the president of Mars, you can't do this! I do it, Doctor. Believe me, I do it. Calm down, Charles! I believe you. Now what can I do to make you drop the syringe and let Quintos go? You know, you are probably the only man who can give me what I want. I will drop a syringe if you save my father in Dead Apollos at Solomon's Fortress in your future. I can't do that, Charles. Yes, you can. It's in the future for you. You have the opportunity to change it. Is it a matter of can't or won't? Both. I am a Time Lord, Charles. There are laws of time that must never be broken or otherwise the consequences would shatter the universe. Time can be rewritten, but stopping death. That can't be done no matter how much we don't like it. But I'm not asking you to stop death. I'm asking you to exchange my father's life for Polis. So what even if I did? As you said, it's my future. I know nothing about it. I may not even be there the moment your father dies, Charles. You are a bindless coward, Doctor. The only coward I see here is you. You're the one holding a hostage because you've been exposed as a killer and have nowhere to hide. You see me, on the other hand. I don't care what you do with Quintos. It doesn't concern me. So go ahead. Kill him. See how much good that does you. Everyone in here already knows, and the MWPF will be here any minute now. So Perry and I will be off. We have tons of places to see. Come along, Perry. Doctor, we're actually leaving Quintos to die? I'm afraid that is the case, if Charles is a coward and kills him. But the fool is outnumbered. It will do him no good. You are bluffing, Doctor. I know your type. And I know yours. So go ahead, call my bluff. But do know that I am also calling yours. That's what I thought. You crazy maniac. And that will be the MWFP. Perry, what did my analyzer say about the needle? It said the liquid found on it is used to remove toxins or poisons. Oh, I see. Charles must have poisoned Polis's drink, and then Ugani injected the needle in him to remove the evidence of poison, just as it killed Polis. Unfortunately for Ugani, he shouldn't have dropped the needle. I trust you will tell the MWPF that and give them this as evidence. Of course. Congratulations, Doctor, on stopping these madmen. Oh, no need for that. All right, Perry. Let's be off. So, Charles just killed Polis to avenge his father? Why wait so many years? I don't think that was the deciding factor. You see, Zanesworth told me he suspected that Sylvia and Polis had a relationship. Yes, and that they stopped seeing each other two months ago. Oh, so Sylvia's baby might be Mr. Polis's? Yes, I do believe that. Perhaps that sent Charles over the edge. But why did he kill Ugani? Well, honestly, Ugani seemed to be giving the whole thing away, leaving the needle on the floor and being so testy with everyone. He was a liability, and Charles had to get rid of him to potentially save his own skin. That's awful. I mean, Yugani was a total jerk, don't get me wrong. But no one deserves to die like that. No, they don't, Perry. They don't. 
I feel so bad for Sylvia as well. She didn't deserve any of this. She made a mistake, yes, but she didn't deserve to have her life be turned upside down like that. Oh, I know, Perry. The universe does things that disturb and oftentimes horrify us to the point where we question it so much. I've come to learn that no matter how much we dislike the outcome, we must soldier on and brave the future for the greater good.